The challenge with Final Fantasy IX Remake character designs. Final Fantasy IX character designs need to be reworked for Final Fantasy IX Remake. The old designs were made on data technology, which is why the team would need to make new designs. As an example, when Final Fantasy VII Remake started development, they opted out in using Advent Children models due to 10 year plus old technology. This means the team wanted better in modern designs. It shouldn't be any secret that the designs for Final Fantasy IX were made back in the late 90s. This wouldn't be any different with Final Fantasy IX Remake when looking at Final Fantasy VII Remake. The characters of Final Fantasy VII Remake, when they redesigned them for that game, it was supervised by Visual Works, now known as Square Enix Image Studio Division. We could kind of look at it as them making sure that there's a consistency with the style of how the FF seven characters looked in the CGI versus what Final Fantasy 7 Remake would be doing. So if Final Fantasy 9 Remake is being developed, then they likely would also supervise the character modeling process since they would want to keep a consistency. Now you might ask, what consistency? Well with games like Dissidia and Dissidia Opera Omnia and even Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, which use the Final Fantasy IX characters. In particular with the CGI, Dissidia, PSP games, as well as the console game slash arcade game and Final Fantasy Brave Exodus feature CGI for characters Kuja and Zidane. And since they have made them what I call the Final Fantasy look, it would be understanding if they go about that for the other characters. It would be incredibly easy for them to do it for characters such as Garnett, Steiner, Amaranth, heck I think Freya would be fairly easy. Now with the most difficult would likely be Vivi Quina. I trust that it's possible and in fact one thing that you guys may or may not know is is that Dissidia NT was data mined it was said that there was supposed to be DLC character Vivi from Final Fantasy IX, so we would have gotten an opportunity of how his character would have looked in the Dissidia or the Final Fantasy Modern look. Tessie Nomura is the one that handled the designs of the characters of that game. He's already started designing Final Fantasy IX characters in a modern way. As we know, Zidane and Kuja were both featured in the Dissidia PSP games and he designed them. And these designs, which crazy enough, was utilized not only in the Dissidia games, but also in other aspects of modern Final Fantasy collaboration games. So in Final Final Fantasy Brief Exodus, Opera Omnia is also one that comes to mind. While the other characters are using certain poses and they have to take reference from their CGI of the original game. To see Nomura, why is he being mentioned? Because well, he did handle the pixel art back in the old days before they switched to 3D from Amano's artwork, which means he has paid close attention to those designs. For someone who has paid close attention to those designs, would also be able to translate Amano's art style into a modern depiction without much of a challenge while staying true to the characters from their respected game, which is what we saw with Zidane and Kuja. Visual Works has made use of these redesigns in CGI Dissidia and Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, and if you think that they're going to change it to be much more simpler in comparison to what has already been done, that'd be disingenuous because they already have the framework. They would just work with what they have and not go back to the drawing board and say we're gonna change Kuja and Zidane to be simple because that's what I'm hearing. That's what I hear a lot from the community. Despite the conversation, there is a challenge. They need a consistent style and I said all that stuff because I believe that stuff needs to be taken into account when developing a consistent style for Final Fantasy IX Remake. People have the conversation, will it be cartoony, will it be simple, will it be complex? Some people just want the original game but with the CGI characters but I'm gonna get to why that is a problem as well. There exists a group of people out there that only care for a remastered look with the CGI from Final Fantasy IX. The major problem with this is, is that Square Enix Image Studio, aka Visual Works, will likely want to have the characters look closer to what Zidane 
and Kuja redesigns look like. Because if we even look at something as the old CGI for say Final Fantasy VI, and then we look at the redesign that was done by Tetsuya Nomura, do you guys think that they would use the old design CGI if they ever made a Final Fantasy VI remake? Or do you think they would use the newer depiction by using that as a framework? With Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, it gives you a pretty good idea of where Square would go about when it comes to remakes in the look of said characters. Now, for me, it's the consistency. See, if they were to do the original CGI, then the question becomes, well then what about Kuja and Zidane, who's already gotten reworked by Tetsuya Nomura, somebody that's in a good position at the company so they likely if they did that they would have to basically scrap what they have of Zidane and Kuja which they've used in multiple things and go back to the drawing board and it'd be more vigorous and more costly to then sit there and try to come up with a new design for the characters versus using those looks touch up on them and use them as a basis and then make the other characters with them in mind and have a consistency of the style now the character models we have of Zidane and Kuja make use of the Amano artwork so the Amano artwork would likely be the basis of these new designs for the characters that haven't been put in Final Fantasy Brave Exodus with a limit CG and we already see basis of this potentially being utilized when it comes to the model's artwork because in Dissidia Opera Omnia, the rework for Aiko and Vivi has them in their Amano look. I believe that the Final Fantasy IX remake designs will meet the OG CGI designs halfway while taking into account Amano's artwork and we'll have a updated version of the characters. It's gonna be the best of both worlds where both parties will be satisfied. It's not gonna look too kiddish, but it's not going to be like, dang, y'all forgot about what these characters look like. What artist would tackle the task of redesigning the characters for Final Fantasy IX? It shouldn't be a secret that the CGI for Final Fantasy IX can't be fully utilized for character redesigns because not every character in Final Fantasy IX has a CGI model. So while I hear use the CGI models and go from there, it would just not work well because it's not like every single character got one. I mentioned Square Enix Image Studio a lot because they made Kuja and Zidane. The artists in question would need to have had worked on Final Fantasy IX in some capacity. That in mind, the first artist that I would state is Toshiyuki Itahana. Itahana has made designs for Final Fantasy IX characters, and the last main line game that he did work for was Final Fantasy XIII in Lightning Returns. In the case of XIII, I believe he made costumes, and in the case of Lightning Returns, he designed the character Lumina. He would have a good amount of experience to tackle doing character designs, however, I worry if he would be able to do the same sense of what Tetsuya Nomura was able to do and take the designs of Amano and really give him not only just a nice flair but like a good depiction, the best of both worlds. The second artist I have in mind is a previous monster animator for Final Fantasy IX turned character artist, Ryoma Ito. His previous works include Final Fantasy Tactics Advance and Tactics Advance 2, aka Grimoire of the Rift, and in those games he did the character designs. Now, for me, with his prior work with Final Fantasy IX, it would make him familiar with the characters and he should be able to do a pretty decent job. And of course, another artist that could lend their hand is Tetsuya Nomura. Now before anyone says, well, he is so busy with all these projects, we know that Tetsuya Nomura is only the director of Kingdom Hearts 4 and the Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, if I believe. And as far as Final Fantasy VII Remake Project, he is the creative director 
And aside from that, that doesn't mean he can't do any other smaller things in the company. Now, Tetsu Nomura has lended his efforts to virtually every Final Fantasy game since Final Fantasy IV. And because of that, it's possible that he could supply some work for Final Fantasy IX Remake. Heck, throwing 16 in there, it'd be interesting if Tetsuya Nomura did some work for Final Fantasy 16 as well. But since Final Fantasy 16 is being developed by Creative Business Unit 3, I'm not 100% sure. It's uncertain if he would have an important role other than character designer if he is on Final Fantasy IX Remake development team and if it's even being developed. Now, I think the character designs for Final Fantasy IX Remake should be very easy to tackle. With a few members from the OG team plus Square Enix members around when Final Fantasy IX was made, it shouldn't be a challenge. However, the challenge is whether the community will agree or disagree with the idea I laid out and whether this will be executed or not. I am Kai the Player. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video. I'll catch you guys later.